So I've been in private practice for about 15 years. And yeah, it's not, to me, that's not a very long time. Some people feel it's a long time. I think a lot of people still think that I'm pretty young and, and uh, you know, just starting out, I definitely don't feel that way. Uh, but 15 years is not that long um, in the sense that uh, from a training standpoint, which was really in the early 2000s, I mean, I really feel that, that diseases like CRPS should have been well understood and should have been well taught. Um, again, this is not a new disease. So I was really surprised, you know, looking back and, and now being one of the experts in the field and, and uh, uh, really sort of treating patients from all over the world with CRPS and um, looking back at the training that I had and looking back at the mindsets of, of, of my attending physicians who were supposedly experts, I'm shocked at their lack of, of real knowledge and quite frankly compassion. When it comes to CRPS, I don't think I was taught correctly and I don't think that that, was, that is any different than uh, the rest of the medical world um, and, and it's really disappointing. You know, we learned about CRPS uh, in an in and of it, uh, of the disease of being a, a rare disease and something that we may never see. Maybe we'll see one or two patients in our career, uh, and that's simply not the case. Um, you know, now I, I see multiple patients every single day with CRPS. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a rare disease. Um, I also see spectrums of CRPS, something that uh, I don't think has been well described in the literature at all. Um, when I was in medical school, I am pretty sure if I had any exposure to CRPS, uh, which at that time was really called RSD, I'm pretty sure that it was just a blip in my overall medical education and probably one question on some obscure examination. Um, and we treated it like that. It was one of those things that we were like, well, we're learning for this test and we'll probably never see it again. And, and I think that's how most of medical students and most of practicing physicians look at this. And so when they see a patient with CRPS, now, you know, what do they think of that patient? Well, I'll tell you what we've seen. This is real. This is real. Uh, th these are stories that actually happened. Uh, many of our patients say that their physicians didn't believe them. Some of them will say, well, th they, they believed me, but they didn't know what to make of it. Um, others have told the patients, well, it's all in your head, with the intention of saying that you're nuts or you're making it up, not with the intention of actually saying it's in your head mechanistically from a mechanism of action of central sensitization, so kind of missing the, the, the boat there. Uh, 